Hello and welcome to Password State 9, our new major version of Password State which was released in March 2021. For full information on what has changed in this major build, please refer to our change log which can be found on our Click Studios website. In this video, I'll quickly run through all the new major changes without going into too much detail as this video is just intended to be a quick high level overview. For any information about anything in this video, please email Click Studio support. I'll start with the user interface. We've got all new icons for folders and password lists and account types. We've also changed the menu system for a slightly more modern feel. Next, our web-based mobile client from the previous versions of Password State has been deprecated and has now been replaced with new iOS and Android apps. This mobile app will sync with your Password State Vault and can cache your password so it's available offline. It can use biometrics on your phone to authenticate, has dark and light themes, and can also autofill web logins for you on your phone. With the release of Password State 9, we've also updated our browser extensions to have a few different feature upgrades. The first feature upgrade is a new button to update passwords in your vault whenever you update them directly on your third-party websites. The second is a new ignored URL option, which alerts you if you are currently on a site that is set to be ignored. These blue icons mean that the extension won't automatically autofill credentials for that site or save any new passwords for it. You can now delete these ignored URLs directly from your browser extension if you wish, instead of logging into the password state vault and deleting them from your personal preferences page. There's now also a dedicated page for each of your website logins, which you can use to see or copy the actual credentials or link back directly to that password record in your password state vault. Our propagating permission model has now been changed and it's now called advanced permissions and the default permission model is just called standard permissions. This has also been improved to allow you to block inheritance from any folders above where the permissions are propagating down. This way you can configure a new set of permissions at any level in your structure. You can also block inheritance on password lists as well and set custom permissions on them. This new button quickly toggles the new permissions icons to indicate if the folder is set to advanced or if an object is blocking inheritance. If you have a password list configured for one-time passwords, you do not have to open up each record anymore to get the one-time code. Instead, you can just copy uh, the code directly from the passwords grid for quick and easy access. For password records that are enabled for resets, you can now randomise the times when these resets will occur. And this option can be found under the password list properties page. Under the administration menu, we now have several changes to help administer your password state environment. First, we'll start with authorized web servers, which now includes your primary and secondary password state web servers, or any servers where you have the new app server installed. The server roles for your primary and secondary servers on this screen now replace the old passive nodes in your web.config file, which makes for easier upgrades and better visibility of how your servers are supposed to be behaving. The upgrade process for both the app server and the HA servers can be initiated from this screen, and the HA upgrade process has been completely redesigned to improve uh, performance greatly in Password State 9. This new app server is a new portal in Password State 9 used for the new mobile apps and also the self-destruct site. This app server can be installed on any server of your choice, either in your DMZ or even on your password state server if you like. This app server has improved connectivity and functionality of the self-destruct portal if you'd previously had that installed separately. 
The backups functionality screen has now been upgraded to allow you to separate the backup paths for the password state install files and the database. You can also password protect your backups for greater security. This new brute force blocked IP menu will store any IP addresses that have tried to access your site repetitively and that IP address will no longer be able to gain access to your site at all until it is manually removed from this page. This makes for much better security, especially if you're opening up password state to be available outside your own network. Under the images and account type menu, you can now set any custom account you have added into the system to be a managed account. With this new option, you can assign your new managed account on your password records, which will then allow you to upload um, your own PowerShell password reset and validation scripts. And you may want to do this if you've got a uh, system that password state doesn't natively support. Next, under the system settings and the feature access menus, we have a new search feature to let you quickly find a setting instead of remembering where, it, where it's located. An example of this could be to search for where you set your base URL and clicking on the result takes you directly to that setting and highlights it in yellow for you. For account discoveries, we now have support for multi-threading so you can significantly improve performance of your discovery jobs. What this means is if you have hundreds or thousands of servers to scan, you can now scan up to 30 at one time instead of just one at a time. And lastly, we have a new and improved manual upgrade process. We've now built an application to perform manual upgrades and it's as easy as selecting which type of upgrade you want to perform and clicking next. Thanks for watching the time to watch this video. From all of us here at Click Studios, we want to thank you for your continued support. And if you have any questions at all about anything to do with Password State 9, you are welcome to email us on support at clickstudios.com.au.